Princess Chief Mrs. Dokas Mubalaji Dada, JP, joined the Saints Triumphant at the age of 87 after a glorious life that produced seven children who have distinguished themselves in their different spheres of calling. Chief Mrs. Dokas Mubalaji Dada is regarded by many as a disciplinarian, an epitome of royalty, a woman of integrity, and a well respected community leader who has mentored many people in her town, Akure. In Undu State. Chief Mrs. Dokas Mubalaji Dada, the only surviving child of her father, was born on the 2nd of March 1930 at Shugmo in Ikale local government area to the family of Pa Gabriel Jimile Infamotsunwa of Ojao Shodi Akure and Princess Chief Mary Adefumike, daughter of His Royal Highness Oba Afumbio Wadeshida I, the Deji of Akure land. Her parents, now of blessed memory, were devout Christians, and so she was nurtured in a Christian way of life. Chief Mrs. Mubolaji Dada attended the famous St. David's Primary School, Akure, from 1936 to 1945, under the headmastership of the famous veteran teacher, the late Mr. S. Oabiodun. On leaving St. David's School, she proceeded to the CMS Girls Training Center, Akure, in 1946, to complete her primary education. Armed with the required teaching qualification, Chief Mrs. Dada threw herself wholly into the teaching profession and was for a span of two decades on the teaching staff list of various schools as class teacher and headmistress. She later retired voluntarily from the teaching service in 1968 to take care of her young and growing children and the welfare of her community. Bolaji as she is popularly known, got married to Chief Michael Adewi Dada, a renowned science educationist and a graduate of the University of Ibadan, on the 18th of April 1954, at St. David's Anglican Church, Ijomu, now Cathedral, Akure. The couple lived happily together like twins until March 10, 1977, when her husband suddenly lost his life in an accident at the age of 49. Her experience as a single parent bringing up seven children was a challenging one. Nonetheless, through hard work, the support of her caring mother and good friends, she was able to see her children through their educational journey. The late Princess Mrs. Dokas Mubalaji Dada was the Yaijo of the Cathedral Church of St. David's Ijomu Akure in Undo State. It was therefore a most befitting tribute in her honor that activities marking her funeral rites began at the church on Thursday, the 15th of June 2017, with a service of songs, after which she was moved to her residence at number 50, Oba Adeshida Road, Akure, for the Lion in State. At the event, the elegance of this woman of substance drew an attendance of her kinsmen and women, as well as her children, other family members and well-wishers. On Friday, 16th of June 2017, the remains of Chief Mrs. Dokas Mubolaji Dada was moved from her house to the church for a funeral service which was held at the St. David Cathedral Ijomu with an impressive attendance of guests who had gathered to sympathize with the family of the great woman. The funeral service for the departed Chief Mrs. Dokas Mubolaji Dada began with a processional hymn as her children Children-in-law, congregation and other family members, led by the choir, rendered songs to welcome the remains of the great woman to the church. <laughs> In attendance at the event were the governor of Undo State, 
Arakunrin Oluwa Rotimi Akere Dolu, Vice Chairman of Island Club, Prince Lano Adeshida. Traditional rulers and other dignitaries, especially from Undo State and other parts of the country, were also in attendance to pay their last respect to a mother in a million. The church service featured readings of portions of the Holy Bible, which were taken in turns by the officiating ministers, and was most aptly delivered by the Bishop of Akure Diocese, Right Rev. Simeon O. Borokini. In his sermon, he spoke on the essence of faith as Christians, as he urged the family members and congregation to renew their faith in Jesus Christ. The clergyman added that everyone should seek the happiness of others, as well as theirs, as this is a worthy service to mankind. Mama was a decent person. Mama was a straightforward person. Mama was very neat. Mama would always say the truth. Children of God. He brought nothing into this world. We are taking nothing. This is not your home. Whether you like it or not. Right Reverend Simeon Barokini concluded with prayers for the repose of the soul of Chief Mrs. Dokas Mobolaji Dada. He also prayed for the congregation to have the sufficient grace to be found worthy of the eternal reward which awaits them after their earthly lives. There were special prayers for the children and the enlarged family of the deceased. This ushered in a series of special songs rendered in her honor by members of the various groups in the church, especially the Yaijo group, which Chief Mrs. Dokas Mubalajidada belonged to. The burial rites continued with the Thanksgiving session. This was led by the children and the grandchildren of the deceased, in company of a long array of friends and sympathizers. The remains of the late Chief Dokas Mobolaji Dada was laid to rest at St. David's Cathedral Church Cemetery, Akure, Undo State, after a brief sermon, prayers and the dust-to-dust -dust rites, which were performed by members of the Dada family.
To bring the final burial arrangements to an end was a reception which was held at the Dome Center, Alagbaka Akure. The reception had in attendance the DG of Akure, Oba Ogunlade Alade Toyubo Alade Lucy, and other prominent dignitaries. The guests were treated to a performance by the chief commander of Juju Music, Evangelist Ebenezer Aube, amidst whining and dining. There was hearty dancing by children of late Mrs. Dokas Mobalaji Dada, who, despite the painful demise of their mother, showed delight at the good life she lived and the commendable legacies she left behind. <laughs> From Biscon Communications, we extend our condolence to the Dada family and bid Chief Mrs. Dokas Mobolaji Dada a glorious exit. <laughs>